Welcome to Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology Associates. Today, we will be discussing allergy testing. Allergies are the immune system overreacting to non-infectious substances. The body produces antibodies against particles that it recognizes as a threat, even though these substances are generally harmless, such as pollens and pets. Allergy symptoms include rhinitis, or a stuffy, runny, itchy nose, conjunctivitis, which is itchy, watery, red eyes, dermatitis, or eczema, which can show as red, itchy, flaking skin, and hives, or welts. Testing for environmental allergies will include a history, including symptoms, onset, duration, and so on. Skin testing may be done, also known as prick testing. Additional testing, such as intradermals and labs, may also be completed. Skin testing for environmental allergens will include common indoor triggers, such as dogs, cats, feathers, roaches, house dust mites, along with pollens, such as weeds, trees, and grasses, in addition to molds. Skin testing is applied using a plastic applicator. It may be an individual applicator or multi-test paddle. Regardless, the tip of the applicator will be dipped in an allergen serum. To apply skin testing, the patient will be asked to change into a gown. The back is washed with a cleansing wipe and marked with an ink pen. The paddles that have been dipped in the allergy serums will be applied to the back with slight pressure. Any excess serum will be removed with a tissue to prevent the serums from running and contaminating each other. As part of the testing, a histamine is applied. During an allergic reaction, the body releases histamine. We apply this to see what your positive looks like. It will likely be itchy. Any other allergens you are allergic to will be itchy as well. Please try not to scratch. Serums will remain on the back for 15 minutes. After this time, the testing will be read and the back will be cleaned. A topical steroid cream is available for any areas that are itchy. The cream is water-based so it will not stain clothes. Positive reactions may be large or small. If skin testing is inconclusive, additional testing may be recommended. Intradermal testing may be indicated if skin testing does not confirm allergies. Generally, the forearms are used. The area will be cleaned, marked with an ink pen, and then a small amount of the allergen serum is placed just under the surface of the skin using a small needle. The testing will be read after 15 minutes. Once the testing is completed and read, the area will be cleaned and a topical steroid cream is available to help minimize itching, redness, and irritation. Some individuals may require a blood draw for laboratory testing to allergens. A lab order form will be given to the patient to take to the lab of their choosing. When the results arrive in our office and have been reviewed by the physician, you will be notified. Please be patient as it can take a week or more for us to receive the results. If the suspected allergen is not a typical environmental allergen, such as those previously mentioned, patch testing may be recommended. Patch testing involves a series of three appointments. At the initial visit, the back will be cleaned, the patches applied and marked, and then covered. The second appointment, two days later, will include patch removal and an initial reading. A final reading is required two to seven days after the removal of the patches. Positive reactions may be read, raised, itchy, and can include blistering. Testing can also be completed for food and drug allergies. Symptoms may include typical allergy symptoms such as conjunctivitis, rhinitis, eczema or dermatitis, and hives or rash. Additionally, there may be mouth tingling, facial swelling, wheezing, and anaphylaxis. If skin testing and or labs are negative, an oral challenge may be indicated. This includes having you ingest very small but increasing amounts of the suspected food or medication in a controlled environment where treatment is immediately available should a reaction occur. 
For food allergies, it may also be suggested that a food symptom diary is kept. Testing is also available for suspected latex allergies and insect stings, such as bees and wasps. Please feel free to address any additional questions to your physician or nurse.